It's butt crack early in the morning and I am off to Nashville. This is gonna be the best trip ever. I'm gonna meet Elizabeth Benton and I'm gonna see Dave Ramsey being filmed. So excited. I'm sure you're wondering how a girl on a budget can afford a trip to Nashville. As it turns out, the trip is almost completely free. I paid, I think $11 to use my points for airline miles. My parents gave me points from their RCI club for the hotel. And so the expenses will be dinner at night and Uber to and from the hotel to go see Elizabeth. Any of you who follow Elizabeth know that the ticket to this conference was almost a thousand dollars. Somebody loves me because I was gifted the ticket. I didn't have to pay for it. So how can you say no? So I'm super, super, super excited for this chapter of my life because this is a special announcement. For security reasons, please keep your luggage and all packages with you at all times until they are checked. Unattended baggage will be removed immediately for inspection and may be damaged or destroyed. For security reasons, do not accept packages. This announcement is never gonna end. I am super, super excited because I know that at this conference, I am going to learn some serious stuff about myself and my eating habits. I cannot wait. Absolutely cannot wait. Here I am. I have a sweet. I'm back from the first night of meeting Elizabeth Benton and meeting the ladies that will be here at Ascend with me and it was like no other experience I've ever had in my life. These ladies that I met today were awesome. I mean, awesome, awesome. I ended up after the happy hour, there was a group of like 15 women that actually went to a bar and we saw a band singing. And I'll go ahead and insert a clip of the singer on stage stealing my cell phone and filming the group. He just grabbed it out of my hand. But yeah, I ended up in a bar and I don't do bars. I'm just not that girl. I just don't like drunk people. They scare me. They make me nervous. And they throw up and I have a vomit phobia. I can't wait to see what this weekend holds. I just spent, you know, a short amount of time with them and it was awesome. It really, truly was awesome. So I'm so looking forward to our county. I totally had to lay down after today. There was so much that I had to reach down deep inside for her that I don't think I was ready to get. And I feel like I really wrapped my head around some of my issues with eating, but others are like way over here and I'm not even close to being able to reach them. Um, I will tell you that the session started at eight o'clock this morning. I'd love to take you in there, but since I didn't ask Elizabeth for permission, I'm certainly not going to, you know, take my video camera in there and record myself. Um, but started at eight o'clock. By lunchtime, I was exhausted. By one o'clock, I was in tears. I mean, silently in my own little space, in tears thinking this is too much, I can't do this, 
um, my I was taking notes all day long and you can read it in the progression of my notes I was like okay I'll do this and then this is excellent and here's my brilliant observation okay what the hell am I thinking and then there are four letter words and you've lost your damn mind and yeah it got really ugly in my notes towards the end of the day and by three o'clock I we were supposed to be done at four at three o'clock I completely shut down you don't know what anyone else is going through you have no idea like people in this conference looked at me as like my life is perfect and carefree and wonderful and they didn't know I just lost like 75 pounds they didn't know that I have dystonia and two-thirds of my neck muscles are completely paralyzed and talking is difficult for me and so they think you know my life is awesome and perfect and wonderful and it's not and so you know you can't judge people based on your own perception of what you think they should be based on what you see because if you just talk to me and you don't know me from Adam I'm pretty happy I'm pretty perky I'm very pleasant to be around most of the time unless you talk to Mauricio again it's one it's I'm a completely different person if you're married to me apparently <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, 8.30 and I need to go to bed because I gotta be up at 5 in the morning and if tomorrow is anything like today, I needed to be in bed at like 8 or 7 even. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Ascend, you should go. It is worth every penny. You will be exhausted, you will be drained, but it is worth every penny single scent. Okay guys, day two. I am pumped after um, the intense session of looking inside my own brain. Now, I would not wish that on anyone. I'm kind of crazy. Crazy. So uh, yeah, it was really, really difficult spending all day yesterday inside my own brain. If I had the choice, I would prefer not to be there but the only way I'm going to reach my goals is to to get in there. I'm gonna go have a lovely healthy breakfast now and um, then I'm gonna be off so I'll see you when I get home. Hopefully I won't cry all day today because I wear a lot of eye makeup on and that was probably a bad plan. Ascend was life-changing. When I decided to come, I thought it was gonna be about clean eating and adapting your behaviors so that you are mindfully eating. All the things that you talk about when you are trying to lose weight. Any person on the planet could have gone to this conference and gotten something out of it. Um, it wasn't just about weight loss. It was about being in your own mind and learning from your own behavior. And, and she posed questions and it developed you. And I left yesterday, I was exhausted. Physically, I was exhausted. Mentally, I realized this weekend that while I want to be open and transparent with you, I realize some of you may be where I was a year or a year and a half ago. And you're looking to lose weight and you're grasping at straws and you see what worked for me and you want to copy it. And I don't want anyone to ever copy what I have done if there is any other possible way. So while I have told you I will tell you at some point what I did, I don't know that I will. And that may make you mad, it may not, but I will tell you that Elizabeth Fenton and her concept called Primal Potential, and I'll link that down below, will change your life. I love Elizabeth Fenton and she is amazing. And if you don't listen to her podcast and you just need positivity in your ear for some reason, you don't have to need to lose weight, you just have to want to change your mindset to listen to her podcast. She is phenomenal. She is legit just like her podcast. It's been an intense weekend and I'm done. 
bride. I have a glass of wine over there that I will be drinking as soon as I shut off this camera. Maybe in one big gulp. I'm kidding. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.